Hello Rutbags, it's Jade, welcome to Pine. This is a brand new open world kind of RPG game made by a bunch of students from a Scandinavian school, I do believe. Well, it started life like that and they've actually ended up making it into a full game. Um, I saw this a while ago and I just thought, okay, it's some sort of, you know, action RPG or something like that. But the more I've looked into it, the more and more I'm pretty impressed with the world they're building here and, and just what I'm seeing. So I'm looking forward to showing this one part of my indie access weekend highlight and showcasing a bunch of games that I've had for a while or new ones out that are not the normal sort of content you see on my channel. Mainly because I really want to get back into games like these. Playing Cube World recently opened my eyes back up to having a bit of fun with games that aren't just so super realistic. So this one I think has got good crafting options, there's lots of good things here I think and uh, we're going to dive into it and see what it's all about. I'm guessing I'm Hugh. It is a Zelda inspired esque like, I mean I guess everyone's got to use them words now because every action RPG but maybe not. Um, so it's on Steam at the moment, it's not available on console but I could definitely see this coming to console if, if it does well enough on Steam, which I think it will. Um, and we'll talk to these people. How are you, Mesp? Just a bit nervous for today's celebrations. Nervous? Yeah, I'm afraid I won't see Can as often after he moves in. I'll miss him. Don't worry, it's not like he'll be far away, right? Okay, what if the freedom gets to him and he'll go travel and all that? Oh no. Well, I don't know why he's, he's upset about the travel, but yeah. So a little... little Little sprint button, yeah, okay, got that. Interact, I can't wait for today's ceremony. Nothing is more beautiful than seeing our village thrive, I mean, together for something fun. Only a few more hours. Okay, so we've got plenty of quest givers and people to talk to, NPCs and interact. Another little one just hidden here. Hello. Hi, who? You look busy, I'm done for the day. Let's help when the ceremony is over. Okay, right, we'll do that anyway. So, yeah. It's pretty, it's, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's an open world, we'll go and explore, I guess we'll go to this waypoint, go downstairs, speeding up, ah, you. there you are, so they've got their own language, we're almost done with preparations, Ilma and Edwin asked for some more resources for the trias, I'd ask your brother but I can't find him anywhere, even more resources, yes, yes, not sure exactly what, but please go see them, off you go, okay. All right, so quest, quest, quest. I'm gonna go and talk to someone. I love languages like that. It's like the Sims, you know, that gibbity goobly garbage language. Okay, so I'm gonna help with construction. Right on time, who? The rock sits, stands on a brittle. We need to consult with Jerry, but he wouldn't listen. Could you get us more stiff rope, stuff cloth, and some extra fortifications? Okay, so we've got to go get Marwood and Stiff Rope. It's basically taking notice of the waypoints and, and, and filling them out. Yeah, pretty simple. But look, it's a huge world, and by looks things, you can go to all these places. Like it's, it, I think it's completely open world. Let's uh, let's go down. Hello. I'm a bit busy. Can help you. They need some more Stiff Rope, mate. So have you got it? It doesn't grow on trees. Well, of course it grows on trees. You can use the mild on the crate to make the stiff right. Okay, so we're going to learn how to craft something. Okay, cool. You received an idea. These are concepts of items that you can create yourself. Open your menu, start, and go to the crafting tab. Okay, so blueprints in, in essence, you know, to craft whatever we want to make. That's pretty cool. So glossary, equipment, goals, proper quests and everything else. Island stories, main story, side quests as well. Uh, let's go for this one. Pin item. Yeah, okay, we'll pin the item. And we just need two bits of marwood, so it's there as well, okay. So I've got the marwood. And now I can make the 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 rope, I guess in. How do I how do I just craft it? Oh hold X button to create. There we go. Right, and we need stuff cloth as well. You got the stuff cloth, mate? Oh yeah, baby. No, okay, so he's, he's getting his own tree house. That's what we're building today. So Khan... Oh, I'm just gathering stuff. Uh, Khan is getting his own tree house, so he's super excited. And we're just helping him along the way, gather all these resources. Okay. Hello? You. Do you got the stuff cloth? I'm too busy with today's laundry. 
You should make it yourself, basically. All right, well, I'll work it. I'll work it out, though. So, uh, stiff rope and stuff cloth. Let's let's get the, the gravel moss. I guess that's what it is. And the moro hay. Okay. Moro hay and stuff. I like the way it's, it's not just like the general basic cotton or, you know, it's it's something it's slightly different. Well, they've got different resources and different named stuff. That's pretty cool. All right. Crafting it up then. So, stuff cloth idea. That's the idea. I'm going to create it. Boom. And it is moro hay and gravel moss. Okay, I've got one of them. All right, we've got the resources. We could go back now. So we'll go ahead and run back. Oh, nice little bit of music as well. Yeah, mate. I could see me getting into a game like this. It's been a while since I played a good open world action RPG. So many of them I don't have time to do because they're just so big. There's so many things going on. But I like the idea of maybe a little bit smaller, sort of simpler idea possibly. I don't know. We'll have to get into it. It could be huge. Yes, so this does the trick. Our trees haven't been growing as quickly as they used to. Even Marwood will be in short supply soon. And perhaps it's time to explore the lands below. Right, well, everyone seems a bit nervous about doing that. We're not going out into the out to find more. We all know that's not an option. Why not? Everyone's just a bit silent. In any case, today is about celebrating the completion of this wonderful new tree house. Let's wrap this up and have the ceremony. Go and get your brother. He's probably in the corner drawing out all that nonsense. Okay, so we'll go and get our brother again. So back to where we were. No jump option. Oh yeah, there is a jump option. There we go. Hello, mate. Oh, this, this is my brother. I thought it was the other dude. Hey, you. Jerry had me carry logs all day, so I retreated for a bit. I think I just spotted another one of those white and slimy creatures below. If you squint your eyes hard enough. No thanks, I'm good. You should never look away, there's so much to explore and see. Well, not if it's up to Marla and Jerry. Ah, all those concerned with their tree houses and ceremonies. There must be more to the world than this, right? About that ceremony, it's starting soon, bro. They want me to come get you. Well, yeah, there's still some time. Remember that strange construction I found that I told you about? I think I have an idea on how to open it. I don't know, Aman. You know what Marla says about staying too far from home. Ah, oh, come on. Still some time before the ceremony. Meet me at the harvesting site whenever you're ready and I'll show you. Okay, thank you. So we've got, we've got a little thing. Oh, get some resources as well. Yeah, we'll have the more hay. Okay. Oh. Now, where do we go now? Uh, oh, no, it's that way. It's that way. Across the bridge. Run down the hill. There he is. Hello, bro. I knew you'd be interested. Well, I'm doing this for you. We should act quickly before we go exploring. Eat something. Grab some of the mega ram over there. They'll plenty of energy in no time. Okay, so we're going to get some foods. Cool. While adventuring, keep an eye on your energy. Everything you do will deplete energy little by little. So eating is vital to keep your efficiency. Ah, oh, so it's proper survival. You can eat any food you find in the world to replace your energy. Pin one item to your pin slot to select it for a quick bite by holding LB. Eating is done by pressing it quickly while in game. Okay. All right, so... Let's get as many as we can. And then hold B and then we can only pin. Only pin. There we go. So LB. Go ahead and we'll leave. We've done that. Okay, so pinned it. So you can pin different foods. Got common wheat and stuff. I'm just gonna gather as much as I can. Might as well. Get all the food we can. Oh, only only once some of them are uh, gatherable. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's all the gatherable ones. Yeah, it's all the gatherable ones. Talk to Amam. Alright, let's go and see what we can find. We'll be back before Marla's even turned her ancient head. Last one, they eat two bowls of Marla's stew. Sigh. Right. Okay, meet your brother at the strange contraption. Okay, so it's down somewhere. So I like it as well. There's like there's no clear definition like way how to get down there. You just gotta follow it. Oh simple enough. Here we go. Oh we've got a cave. Oh. Alright, here it is. I cleared away some of the bushes and found that round thing happening there. Oh hanging there. We have to hit with something, but throwing didn't do the trick. 
I made this slingshot. I'll let you do the honors. Okay, so I'm gonna slingshot my way now. You have a both melee and range weapon slot at all times. Swap between the two, pressing X. Use LT to draw your weapon and RT to release it. Okay, cool. Oh, there we go, yeah. Nice and simple, nice and simple. Right, we'll, we'll pull it back and... There we go, we're out. Let's see what we find. Oh, he's going in. Obviously, I'm the more younger, scareder brother. Oh, okay. That's the way we came in. I mean, there's all sorts of ways to go. What's going on here? What are you doing, bro? Oh, we're fighting. We're going to fight it out. Check it out, Hugh. This looks like a real adventuring tool. There's another one. You should grab it. Oh, so swords. So he's never seen a sword before. Old Pinewood sword. Right. There we go. I've got the sword. Okay. Swing at times. You look powerful. Yeah, so tutorial. Okay. What's this one? What's he going to do now? Oh. Oh, he went right through. Rip. Rip. <coughs> okay, let's go through. He's trapped. Are you alright? I'm fine, lost some balance. That was exciting, but I need to get out of here. Can you see any way out? There's a wooden door with a small note next to it. It says, left, left, right. I'll see what I can find. Oh, a little bit of puzzle. Okay. Set torches. Okay, left, left, right. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I'm blocked from this side too. What was it you said again? Left, left, right. Written on this note. Okay, so it's got to be... So... One... Two, three. It worked. Let's see if I can open yours now. Oh, he's done it. Okay, there we go. Got out of there. What'd you say? You want to go a bit further? We're still right. Okay, let's seek some food if you have any. Okay, so do I need any food? I think I'm alright, you know. I think I've got my energy. Oh, maybe not. Yeah, the blue bar there. It's going down, so okay, we've got to think about that. Get a little buff as well for uh, being energized, that's good. Oh. Well, I'm guessing I meant to have come up here in a minute when he says that the way is blocked, or whatever, but I've decided to come up here earlier. Carrot! Which looks a little bit like sweet corn. Now it's the story of what happened to us. People went to the flames and then the god left us in this tree, maybe? Those figures look like humans and that tall one, whoa. He must be adventure who came from the out. And he seems to have left them again at some point. Could they be humans of our cliff, our ancestors? This can't be true, we have never been in the out, right? Well, who said we made this drawing? Looks like they closed off this cave behind them. Humans, so the out is something they've never seen. Okay, okay. So, we're going to get to the ceremony. Oh, he still wants to go out, but... Well, I've got to go, mate. I've got to go. I want, I've got to go and watch the ceremony. Because, apparently, I'm really super scared of Marla. So, let's let's get going. Oh, there's, oh okay. There's thingies there, too. And there's the note. Left, left, right. Okay, cool. Is there anything else to gather there, though, that I missed? No. No, nothing that sort of manacle yet. Puzzly, not yet. Let's just go back then. And run round. There's all that stuff. Did I pick all that stuff up? Yeah, I did. There was that other area that I never explored, which was down this way. Oh, it doesn't look like it goes anywhere. No. I guess we'll go through there later. But I'll remember that one, just in case there's something there. And this ain't too bad, you know. I'm feeling this. I'm feeling something nice, gentle. Graphics are all good. I like the art style. I think they're pretty cool. So, you are incorrigible, Amam. But taking young Hugh with you. Mother knows what could have happened in there. You know you should never leave the perimeter. Sorry, Marla, but we discovered that we... I have no interest what of concerns nonsense you found. 
you're well, well aware that it soft limits and we should stay in the village like we always have. But that's ex no, no. So basically, she's happy. unhappy with him. Let's go. So, yeah, I guess like we've been closed off so long, it's become sort of normal. The old timers don't want us to go off adventuring too much and discover things. So it looks like it's a nighttime cycle as well, so it's getting pretty dark. All right, now we're all here, the ceremony can begin. Thank you, Marla. As a tradition, I'd like to thank everyone for their efforts. It took a bit of work and resource than usual, but we did it again. Our new house stands tall and strong. We should continue to expand our village. Our next house should stand right next to this one. It'll be even bigger and more beautiful. Even Matt and Khan to officially claim their tree house as their own, and after that we feast. Ah, oh, okay, so the whole village should make a nice little house for the married couple. That's nice. I throw up if I spill another bowl that dry stew of hers. I don't see why Jerry's so obsessed with it. It's like he wants these ceremonies just for the stew. He sure does eat a lot of it. Another round wooden tree house. Aren't we creative? So they don't like doing stuff new. I'm going to try new tree houses one day. Oh, hang on. What's that? That was definitely some sort of shake. Uh oh. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, mountains are gone. Poor newlyweds house is gone. Oh no. I'm, I'm up, I'm waking up. What is that? An elephant or something. An aardvark. Anteater. Yeah, a curious cross. And a slightly sinister kitty cat koala bear. You've come from above, have you not? I always did have a hunt something must have been brewing up that cliff. Never did I dare imagine it would be humans. Dangerous place, that cliff. Here we called it the unstable cliff for good reason. I can imagine the shock fella, but you're not dreaming. Both of us might be trapped. Follow me. Right, okay, so I've obviously felt fallen off that log. A nose for adventure. Rip. Rip. Okay. So, yeah, this is it. We're exploring around. Okay. I've had the bad luck of being here when that rumping started. I'm sorry, but who are you? The name is Off, one of the Tambos. We travel, we study, we practice politics, and sometimes we are stuck. I need to get this bridge fixed to get my alpha fant back up there. So here's a suggestion. Get me some marwood and stiff rope for the bridge, and some food for my alpha fant, and she's hungry. And I'll get you something for that blockade, so that I, as I think that's going to be your way up. It looks pretty sturdy, but I recently invented a thing just for that. Okay, so I've got to get some stuff. Right, well, I've got the wildwood. I need to just make some stiff rope. I don't know if I've got enough materials to make stiff rope. Or stuff clop. No, it's the stiff rope I needed, not the stuff cloth. Okay, so we need two more bits of stiff rope. So that's food. I'm guessing that's what the, the elephant eats. So we'll just go a little a few resources. Any more? Yeah, there's no one there. There we go. Got it. There you go, mate. You'll find someone who's strong enough to build it. An explosive keg, and it's not subtle. Hit it with one projectile, it'll blow right up. Okay, so I've just got to go and place it down. I like that. Okay, so I've got to place it down. I'll get back in. Jump up. Whoop. Yeah. Right. Using the LB. Okay, so. Oh, okay, so now we can choose what we want. Nice. Okay, well, hopefully that's going to be enough. And then I'll just shoot it. Gosh. We're in. We're in. Okay. So, more shenanigans with this. I think we'll get on the lift first. Smack it up. Nice. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, mate, I've got to leave that well late. It's, it's funny holding B button and then triangle to jump. 
I was wondering what things they talked about earlier. I'm guessing this is a lizard that doesn't like humans. Hugh, what the? It doesn't seem too friendly. I wish a man was even able to do. I'd have to fight it. Well, yeah, you probably do, mate. You probably do. You can use right. Okay, so just basically, shit. I mean, it's you know a bog standard tutorial for most people, but I, you know I quite like it. Oh, there we go. So we can dodge. Yeah, go on. Gonna fire one more. Okay, a bit stiff, but we can do it. Oh. Oh, I need uh, the food. That's what we need. Oh, I got him! I got him! A bleak of fire, a bleak of fire, and a crocrescence. Okay, so traditional stuff. Got him. We did it. We did it, Ma. We did it. What's this torch. Okay, so I've got a torch I'm going up here. What's this one? Oh, so you put the torch in there. Oh, it opens up. Okay, simple. Oh, now I know no, where we are. We're back at that place earlier. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, well, let's go and see if the people are okay. I'm squished. I quite like it. It's like, yeah, you, you've got to eat to make sure you've got the high energy. And it does run down. So you've got to think about that sort of stuff. That's pretty cool. Let's get back up top. Oh god. Oh, the whole village has been like devastated. Oh, they're all okay though. You're safe. We thought you lost you for a moment. How are you hurt? Did you get out? Did you fall away into the out? I'm fine. My head hurts, but I met this creature. Off, he lives in the out. I feared as much. Did it hurt you? Were you attacked? No, no, it's very kind. He helped me to get back here. He also knew about the bad state these cliffs are in. Where's the man? I have to tell him about what happened. Oh no. Hugh. Terrible havoc. Oh god. Lula, Edwin, and Lamb did not survive, and neither did he, Hugh. What? Wow. They're going all out there. He must be down there. We found him, Hugh. He must have pushed you away from the danger. We are so sorry. Oh no! Oh no! No! Right, so... My bro, my broski's dead! Wow! Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting a bit more light and like, you know, or maybe he's fallen over and now he's been kidnapped. You've got to find him. We'll see what's going on. We'll see what's going on. I'm going to get to his side out. He's not there. And then he'll be all super sad. Oh, but he's left him something. This is his map. He was going to map the whole world. And now I've got to do it. I've got to map the whole world. In memory of my dead brother. Can we get, can we get an F in the comments for a mum? Oh. And everyone else as well, like not even just enough for the brother, but like four people died. Come back to town, we know what you're going through. You. We have to start rebuilding, we need everyone's help in that. Aman would help too. No, Aman would have sure we find a better place to lift than these cliffs. There is no other place, the out is not an option, it never has been. That's not true, we told you humans were not out before. Do not believe those nonsense drawings you see, we're too weak to simply walk into the outskirts. Come back to the square, Hugh. We'll figure it out. Sad times. Sad times. But he's resolved now. He's going to do it. And there we go. Nice, simple, basic premise. But I like it. You know, that's what I'm, this is the kind of game I've been crying out for. Something, a little bit of story. A little bit of questing. A little bit of action. A little bit of items in it. Perfect. This has been the first part of Pine. If you want to see more of this, make sure you like the video. I think out of the indie games I've played so far, I've played about five at this point. This is definitely one of them I really want to maybe put some more time into. So, for sure, if you want to see more of this, make sure you like the video and comment what you think about it down below.